Hi writers, my name is Gina Nicole Rivers and I am the founder of Simply Stylus, which is an online writing software that allows you to easily outline, organize, and write your novel. I'm also the author of two psychological horror thriller novels, Black Water Tales, The Secret Keepers, and Black Water Tales, The Unwanted. So, epilogues and prologues, what the, right? Epilogues and prologues, what are they? How do you use them? Should you use them? Epilogues and prologues can be tricky and confuse many. While I'm not a huge fan of either, I do use one in my work in progress um, to the moon and back because it was necessary to give the story the desired start. What is a prologue? Um, it is the pre to a story, the pre to a story, right? Meaning it is the part of the story that comes before the story, not necessarily in a linear way, um, but just some information that you want to put ahead of the main story. So then why don't you just make it part of the story? Good question. Your prologue should be unique in a way that does not fit directly into the main narrative of your story that you're writing. For example, in my new book, like the one that I'm working on, uh, I use the prologue to introduce the legend upon which the main story is based. Uh, in the prologue, young boys sit around a campfire telling creepy stories, including the legend that will then directly influence the main characters in my story as they move into town. These boys are not part of the core story. I have them show up again in a very uh, background support type of way, but other than that, they're not a part of the main narrative at all. I'm just using them in the prologue to give the reader this important foundational um, information and to highlight the perspective of the townspeople, which we may not otherwise see clearly. And to introduce a little bit of mystery before the story even really starts. While there are other uses, prologues are mainly used to introduce information in a way not directly related to the story at hand. What is an epilogue? Epilogues function in a fashion very similar to prologues, but they come after the main story. Mostly an epilogue tells you whether or not to expect a sequel or to let you know, like to kind of give you some finality, like no, this is it, don't expect anything else. Um, the epilogue can also give more insight into the characters um, as they may reflect on events uh, or whatnot. If you use an epilogue or prologue, make sure the following. They are necessary, especially for a prologue. Most readers are ready to jump into the story immediately, and if you make them work through a prologue, it had better be worth the wait. Also, make sure that the story requires a prologue or an epilogue. If your reader skips either, will they be lost in the story? Um, if so, then that information should probably be included in the main narrative. Epilogues and prologues should act as tasty tidbits. They should not be an integral part of the actual story. Keep it short. Readers are already hesitant to read them, so don't make them too long or you run the risk of readers like me just skipping them altogether. Make sure that they are engaging. Nobody wants to struggle through a 20-page family tree that reads like the book of Genesis. This is something better spread throughout the main story. Keep these devices short and just as engaging as the regular story. So let's recap. Prologues give some type of introductory information on your story that is not uh, really, that doesn't fit directly into the main narrative. Epilogues add some type of conclusion, reflection, or foreshadowing that is part of the story, but again, do not fit directly into the main narrative. If you use either one, make sure that they are necessary, make sure that they are short, and make sure that they are engaging. Just my opinion. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, or subscribe. If you are ready to start, finally start writing your novel today, you can go to simplystylist.com and set up a free trial account. If you want to stay in the loop and get more information from me, writing tips, and all those good things, you can join our email list. And uh, with that, you can automatically download your quick guide to creating compelling book blurbs that make readers choose your book. You can also join our Facebook writing group, Simply Writing and um, connect with some other writers who are supporting one another on their writing journey, journeys. And there you can download killer, I mean, ways to create killer book titles. Your story starts here.